Where's her there? Oh, come on, that was right on her. Right. Got her. Down you go. Right. Yeah, you sure you can shut up, Screamer. Don't you start. It's the middle of the night. People are trying to sleep. <laughs>
and then we're going to go ahead and do the walls. So the walls shouldn't really take too long to do if we do this, because then we got to do is fill in the windows and then, of course, you know, paint over the whole lot and then we'll have some kind of wall. The outside of the walls are going to be a little bit of a, a longer thing to do because that's we got to kind of work out how you want to do that. Because as you can see, there's like a slight little gap uh, in the top uh, between that and the concrete. So we have to go on the outside of this and we'll have to put some walls in on the outside part as well. But for now, let's just go ahead and do this. It's going to be a big old wall here. So I think we could have a, like a door here, but I, th I think I like the idea of the I like the idea of the um, the entrance down there a little bit better. So yeah, we'll probably have an entrance that is down the bottom uh, that we go ahead and climb up, um, and then that leads us inside. I think I think I like that. We could we could try an elevator entrance as well. May actually, yeah, maybe an elevator entrance would work really really nicely here. Um, we could have an elevator. You guys are also suggesting I put um, a uh, like my power generators back here, which I could do. That's uh, that's something I was uh, thinking about as well. So. Somewhere to put the power generators would be nice, but yeah, I think actually that might be an I that might be an idea actually. So, yeah, for now I won't fill that in yet. I will uh, of course paint over it as I need to, but for now let's go ahead and do these. There we go. We can go ahead and do this side. Then we can essentially go ahead and do all the sides here, paint over them, and then we'll have a uh, we'll have a way to get in and out of this place at some point. Uh, it could be that I have like a, a middle section as well, uh, or maybe even uh, maybe even this section here could be. Maybe, maybe even like one of these wall sections could be, but yeah, it's coming together slowly but surely. It's just kind of getting the getting the initial design right is going to be the uh, is going to be the challenge uh, of doing this. So yeah, because I was thinking, oh, we could we could even have a door here, but then again, I kind of reduce the integrity of the structure in the middle. Because so yeah, having having a kind of door to come in would be nicer, but in terms of like the actual integrity of the building, I don't know if it's worth doing because that's on a main. That is on a main part that is being supported, so I don't really want to do that. If I'm going to have a door, it's going to have to be in one of these middle sections. But for now, let's go ahead and put these in. Um, and then at least we can get these bits uh, all done. And yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's looking better already. So these parts of the walls are now in, and that's not looking too bad. So we got the walls in, and then the only other thing we have to do is really is just like paint these things. Um, and the good thing is as well, we can actually section off the walls uh, based on these little sections here. So if we want to make like little rooms between these areas, we can. So if we want this to be like a, a, a corridor, and then we have like a big open plan area over here, we can do. You know, there's, there's plenty of stuff that we can do. So I was thinking maybe like this side would be like the kind of the the communal part of the area and then this part of the building would be whatever goes here so you know whatever we decide to make this in the end will then uh come into this uh come into its own on this little section as well so uh let's go ahead and grab i'm gonna go grab some paint here and we're gonna go ahead and make everything essentially look like bricks for now because we we kind of need to do that so let's go ahead and copy that texture there and then we should i think be able to can I not get that one behind the forge? Okay, yes, I can. Okay, and we just essentially need to paint these guys. Um, can I use? Uh, can I use the ruler? That might make it a little bit quicker, because then I only have to hit it twice rather than four times, um, and then we can paint over that. Hopefully, the uh, the floor won't paint into bricks as well. There we go. So it's the the roller is kind of weird. If you look, I think you got to look like precisely between it to paint all four. But if you're kind of close to the middle, it will do three. It's a little bit it's a little bit odd how the roller works. But if you can if you can like position it almost precisely enough you can actually get it painted over in one shot which is always really nice so we'll go ahead and do that if we can um okay then we can come out this way so that bit's done um okay i need to paint over this bit for which i should use the roller like here there you go paint over that side um eventually we'll get it uh we'll paint it over to the actual texture that we want it so it'll probably be like the skirting and stuff in here as uh, uh, as well but for now i'm just going to paint it to look like brick um, and we can go from there. Make sure it's not um, overwriting the texture. So yeah, we'll probably get the uh, we'll probably get the other texture in at some point. But for now, we're just going to paint it to look like bricks, so it will look similar. There we go. And now the inside is all looking like brick, which is great. So there we go. So that's uh, that bit is now all done. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be like a ceiling bit as well. So that's going to be uh, that's probably where like some lights are going to go or something. I'm, I'm not really too sure. Uh, we'll we'll kind of figure something out there. I could like leave a gap or something here actually, and then have like a plate going underneath, which would then support a light, which actually could work pretty well. Hmm, now think about it, that might actually be a that might actually be a fine idea, because then I can actually hide the power uh in the uh in the ceiling and then have relays and lights and stuff, which would actually work very, very nicely now I think about it. So, um the thing the, the main thing I need to do though, this the, the main thing I need to do is paint on the outside and then fill in. So what I need to do is get some uh brick plates. This is what I need here. So the brick plates because we need to kind of fill in the gaps um on the outside of the wall. So let me see, I should have some kind of frames as well or something. I've got to read my frames, that'll do. So essentially I need to, first of all, make myself some scaffolds on the outside and actually get this place built up a little bit. So let me come down here. So what I've got to do, essentially, it's a bit of a, 
bit weird thing. So I've got to go ahead and put the scaffolds uh, around here. It's going to be very difficult to place them on these levels, but each level needs its own scaffolding. So that's probably what we're going to have to do at first, is get the scaffold in, and then I have to put brick plates on the side, then of course like paint over as well to get that looking how I want it. So first of all, we're going to do a layer of scaffold around here, just so we can walk around it. And then as we need more scaffold, we, you know, we build more, which is fine. But yeah, we'll put a layer of scaffold on here. I don't know how many blocks it's going to take, but it shouldn't take all 500. Should not even take anywhere close to 500. But yeah, we're going to put this on and then we will go ahead and be able to walk around this and then paint over everything on the outside. Because that's what we need. We need scaffold so we can paint it. Because if we don't have scaffold, we can't actually, you know, get up there and therefore we can't actually do anything with it, which is going to be kind of sucky. So yeah, we need this to build and to paint. So let's go ahead and sort that side out and then we need to come back this way and then we can start building this way there we go so we'll have one layer of scaffold around the outside this should definitely support it as well as well as the other floors we'll definitely have it all uh, supported and then we can do this uh, per layer as we go and i'll probably keep the scaffolds there until we are completely uh, until we are completely done with each of these floors i should have probably done this first to be honest but there you go Usually in building, scaffolding does come first. You know, I'm just a, I'm just not a builder, as you can tell. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. So you know, these things have to be done. So we'll put the scaffold in, like that. There we go. And then I'm actually back here now, and I can come, a, come ahead and come over here. There we go. And then I can get between there, and then I can get onto the scaffold. Hey, there we go. So now I can get on it. So the next thing I need to do is uh, these, uh, these sections here. Um, I need to go ahead and put the brick plates onto the side here. So this section here. Let me actually. Can I rotate to face here? And then just use advanced rotations. There we go. So then these brick plates are going to be used to kind of cover over this stuff here. And then we can paint this in a, in a different way if we so choose, which is going to be pretty cool. And then we can have like brick poles on the edge. It's going to, it's going to look nice, I think. So we can kind of, uh, you can kind of embellish it a little bit, a, a bit like almost like embossing it just a little bit. It could be uh, could look pretty nice, right? Let me, uh, oh, let me come up here again. My uh, character model is going weird. But yeah, essentially that allows me to go ahead and start placing all these on. And by having scaffolding, it just makes it a lot quicker because I can just literally just place it where I want it, and I can I can like look all the way over there, and I can actually place it on the scaffold as well, and then just walk backwards, and it places as I want it, which is great. Um, so this should make placing it uh, and filling in a little bit less uh, a little bit less time consuming, which is going to be good in uh, in the end. So we can start on this. So yeah, all this scaffold will then come in here. Um, we're gonna have to paint over like these bits as well, but I'll probably I'll probably end up scaffolding that bit as well um, up the sides of the wall. Potentially, we'll have to see how that works. So let's go rotate to face there, and then we can go ahead and do the advanced rotation. And then we literally just uh, pull it back and then put it on. And then that will fill in that bit. And then the only other thing we have to do is paint the uh, paint the paint the pieces, and that's going to be all good. So let's go ahead and just start on this. So now I can actually finally start to get um, a little bit of wall in. At least do at least do this first level, because I mean, if I'm just doing floors every time, it's going to be a little bit boring for you guys to watch. And I can probably start doing some of the floors off camera as well, um, which I don't mind doing. So any any of the off cam stuff, like I'll do like a couple layers with you guys, and then I'll start doing like stuff off camera for like different things, because that way I can kind of keep it fresh. Because I know I've had a couple of episodes where I've literally just been doing the flooring, and you know. Those episodes do get to like 40, 50 minutes, so I don't want to just have it so that I'm completely doing flooring every episode, because that will just, that'll get stale fast. Um, so I do want to vary it up a little bit for you guys. So hopefully it's all going to be good. So, But as long as you guys are enjoying the build, that is the main thing. So if you're enjoying it, then I'm happy to keep going. So let's go ahead and see what we've got here. So we've got this side. So this side is nearly done, at least on this bit. But yeah, that kind of covers it over nicely as well. That hides it all. Uh, it tends to go in like really weird places sometimes, but there we go. So then we got that side done. Uh, so now this is completely covered. So it looks like uh, it looks like brick. We'll paint over this like differently as well. So it looks like uh, we can have it like a different type of brick or something. And uh, it should look really nice. So let's go ahead and go rotate to face, and then advanced, and then we can go this way, and then start coming back this way. So working pretty well. I just want to make sure I don't waste too many of these uh, brick blocks if I can. But so far, I think it's going to be good. So we're going to have to do this for the other levels as well. So as we go up the uh, up the side of the building, we'll do this for the other levels, and then it will go ahead and hide all of these uh, hide all of these things, which is going to be good. So let's go ahead and do these, and then we are out this side. Okay, so the, this side is really short actually, so it's not too bad to do. So then we can go rotate to face again, and then copy that one. There we go. It's definitely easier to do the rotate to face and then go to advanced rotations, um, simply because that way 
you don't then have to worry so much about uh, trying to scroll through each and every individual rotation. So it's much better. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, new textures coming in, in uh, A17 though. Definitely looking forward to that because like some different textures are going to be, I think it suit it really nicely. So I think we could have some kind of like a Adobe on here or something. Adobe Peach or something would be uh, maybe pretty nice for Adobe White. Uh, we can kind of like have like the bottom layer Adobe White and then we can have like a brick layer between it and then another layer of Adobe White. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. I'm sure something. I'm sure there's going to be something nice we can do with this building. So let's come uh, this way. Let me just do these last ones here so I don't fall. Because you know what I'm like? I'll, I'll fall off otherwise. And I'll break my leg again. And I'll be like, oh god, I sprained my leg again. Uh, but yeah, you know what I'm like. So let's go and do that. There we go. Right, so that bit is now done. So let's go ahead and uh, drop down here. Just have a look and see how that looks. Uh, how are we looking? So yeah, apart from like the uh, the iron in between, that's what we got so far. So the next thing we gotta do is, uh, of course, either scaffold over or paint over the iron. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna scaffold over it actually. Might look quite nice if we do that. So it's gonna make, uh, it's gonna make actually doing the the last bit of scaffolding a little bit more difficult. But I think it would look nicer if we go ahead and do. So the scaffolding has to sit there. So we've got four layers of scaffold here. And then we're going to do rotate to face there. And then we can then we can kind of do this. And then we can do... Actually, I can probably leave it on rotate to face there. And then the brick poles will then come a little bit later on. So these bits at least will... Uh, at least for the corners anyway, where the poles will go. We'll have these guys um, going down this way. And then we can do... So as long as they're not falling off, that is uh, a good thing. And then the other the other bits we'll just paint over for now, and then we'll see how that works. So let's run down this side of the building. So yeah, these guys can come over here, and then we can go this way. So four up, because the next layer of scaffolding has to sit on the next level there. So we have to make sure that we don't uh, do it completely. So I'll have to go ahead and like remove scaffolding and do like one last bit each time towards the end. But that's fine. We can do that. Okay, there we go. And I think that's pretty much everything done there. So we should be good at that point. Then we come out here and that side's done. Cool. Okay, so now we go ahead and we can go ahead and paint over this with the brick texture as well. And then that should be enough to... So yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky to get this to work. So just doing one at a time again. Yeah, I kind of want the uh, I kind of want the roller option. Just to make it a little bit faster. There we go. And we can look in the middle of those and kind of paint the roller. On there, there you go, and it looks like it's brick, even though it's not, it looks like it's brick and it's close enough. And then if we want any additional patterns, we are able to go ahead and do additional patterns, which is going to be awesome. So let's come over here. And yeah, it looks like, it looks a little bit embellished as well. So overall looking pretty nice, so we can go ahead and start painting this over. And then that bit there will be a balcony, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and keep going here, a bit higher, there we go. And then, yeah, so tr just trying to look precisely at the angles here is a little bit of a, a little bit of a tricky one, but that's okay. Um, so these guys... There we go. And just trying to make sure I don't fall off here, because <laughs> that'd be bad. If I fall, I mean, th this height's not so bad, but as we as we go higher, it's gonna get it's gonna get bad if I fall. So I want to be a, a little bit careful, making sure I'm not walking out too far. Uh, I'm probably sure we're gonna get more screamers coming soon. Uh, they like to they like to show up when I'm when I'm busy working. Oh god! Yep, there we go. Fell off. Oh, I didn't I didn't spray my leg. Good. Whew. Okay, see, I, I, I know it's going to fall out. I'll probably have to put like a layer of hay bales down there as well. E even then, I'll probably still miss them as well. Um, yeah, hay bales might be an idea at some point. There we go. Right, that's all painted there. So the next thing I wanted to do is kind of look at uh, what we could do for the bottom. Because um, the bottom should be a little bit different um, just to kind of, you know, make it stand out of it. Uh, so we have this drywall stuff, which is fine. Uh, I don't mind the drywall creme. That's fine. Uh, ferret blinds, we don't want that. That's... That's just not really, that's just not gonna be any, any good. Um, Adobe white might look quite nice, um, or concrete white could look quite nice as well. I think um, what's concrete white like? Let's go ahead and change this to a single one. What's concrete white like? That's really really bright. So I'm not sure if I want the concrete white or I want the Adobe white. I don't think I want it that bright. I know the mining helmet is uh, of course making it a little bit um, a little bit brighter than it would be usually, but I think this Adobe white would look a little bit nicer. Both along the bottom and up the sides of the building here. Um, and I hear a screamer coming. Of course. And of course you've seen me. Which is even better. Thanks, screamer. I'm trying to talk about screamers. I think another one's coming as well. Right, where you at, lady? Okay, so there's a guy underneath. Right. Right, stop hitting on the stuff. Right, come on then. You guys, you guys want to fight me? Come on then. Right. Right, let's go and kill these guys. Come on then. 
So we got some ferals, a footballer. Right. Right, oi! Right, Scream is dead. Football is dead. This feral's dead. And it has my dude. Right. Right, any more? Yep, footballer. Okay, and we got a cheerleader. So I think she summoned the football squad. Right, come in. And a football there. Oi! And a future gear. Now I've gone and smashed you in the face. Future gear. Right, hang on a minute. Oi! Who's in here? Right, this guy. Biker! So it's, it's, it's the whole sports squad that she's brought along. There we go. Gone ahead and got rid of her. Alright, there we go. So. Oh, or him rather. The, that, that was definitely not a she, you know, big, big beard. Oh, yes, we got rid of her. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> okay. Let's see what these guys have. Um, actually, a good football helmet. We can sell that to the trader. Because the trader doesn't really stock football helmets, so that's always good. Right. I hear another guy somewhere. There he is. Is he a feral as well? I'm not sure. Are you, do you have glowing eyes? I can't see because you're, you're not staying still long enough. So I can see. Yeah, you are a feral. Okay. Got him. Hmm. She's summoning a lot of ferals on me. I, I'm sure now that our game stays over a thousand, she's going to start summoning some some real nasties on me as well. So let's go and have a look around the bottom. How is that looking up the side there? So I did a little bit here. How is that? Uh, how is that looking? Not bad, but it could be better. Could be better. I'm actually glad I came down here. Yeah, because I, I think that I think we could make that look better. Not really liking like how stark white it looks so what we could do maybe is try a different one let's see then um we got different types of bricks so that could work so yeah it, it doesn't want to be as white or the tan kind of looks just blech though so i don't want that we can try maybe brick painted like some painted bricks on the on the bottom here that might look a little bit better then we can have the uh then we can have that instead that might look a little bit nicer as well actually I'm tempted to say that is probably what I want to go for instead. Uh, it's a bit hard to see compared to... Uh, oh yeah, we've also got to do these little side bits as well just to make it look a little bit more consistent. So those bits are going to be a little bit difficult to reach. But yeah, that might be uh, that might be a bit of a better look for it um, compared to the just the just the white. I think I think I, I will go with that actually. Yeah, we'll go we'll stick with that. So let's go ahead and do these. So this this bit is uh, a layer of two, so I kind of have to do it just one at a time, um, which is fine. We can do that. And that will kind of provide like a, a scaffold because it's made of brick anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, my character thirsty? Yeah, my character's thirsty. We are actually at zero, so I'm probably going to need to go and drink some stuff soon. So while I'm coming back this way, let's paint across uh, this bit. There we go. Uh, and one higher. There we go. One last one. There we go. We got it. And then we can go ahead and do just up this little side bit here. Just make it look decent. There we go. Um, so can we get that one? Too far away? Nope, we got it. Cool. So yeah, while, uh, while my character's thirsty, I will go ahead and paint across this way, and then we'll get some stuff to drink, and then we can keep going. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way along here. So it's starting to get dark, slowly but surely. Which is cool. But yeah, slowly but surely it's coming together, so we, we got the wall built, and then we can uh, paint a little bit of the outside, see how we go. Uh, can these be painted? I don't think they can, can they? Can I paint through there? Okay, actually, that, that, that block's being painted. Maybe, if I get the roller, can I, like... Just paint these ones without it hitting those ones. Oh, maybe I can actually. That would be good if I can. Uh, it looks like it. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's go get. Let's go get drinks and sort myself out a bit. Uh, in terms of drinks, I got murky water, but I got some in the some of the campfire over here. So let's go and take those. There we go. Right. There we go. So the character has had rest as well, which is great. Let me check my tiredness level. I'll probably be getting tired soon at some point as well. Let's go ahead and just sort that. There we go. Right, all good. So let's go ahead and chuck those. Okay, chuck that in the trader mm. box. And I've got a couple of just raw materials here that I don't want to keep. So those can go in here. And so can plastics as well. Blood draw kit can go in my uh, trading and medical box. So it's kind of like my it's kind of like a multi-purpose box right now. Um, and there we go. So how am I doing on uh, how am I doing on sleep anyway? I am currently at twelve percent. Okay, so I'm not I'm not too bad. Okay, I'm cur currently at twelve. That is fine. But yeah, I think then we can use the... Uh, if we use the scaffolding to kind of like block out the areas that we don't want to paint, then that would work, right? Because then I'm literally just looking at the surface here, and then I just choose to paint that. So it's, it's going to get the ladders as well, but like the ladders don't matter, right? They, the ladders are not important. As long as we're painting the... As long as we're painting these guys here, if that makes it any quicker, 
then I will do I will definitely do that. Yeah, so it's not going through the scaffolding, which is really good. So as long as we don't get the a layer above, that's gonna be fine. So I'll try and keep looking try and keep looking down at this bit if I can. And then we can literally just walk along here, paint over that, which is gonna make painting go a lot faster if we do this. Uh, there is also like the, the huge roller tool, but we don't we don't want to use that. Okay, so as you can see, like if we look up slightly too much, uh, it will go ahead and uh, paint this to one that we don't want and there we go see now we gotta we kind of gotta then replace and repaint so yeah we gotta we gotta be a little bit careful as we do this there we go so we can paint that and then we can go back and grab this guy so yeah as long as we're looking at the very bottom block then we should be fine oh someone coming in oh wandering horde all right hi guys see i just want to paint and they and in they come it's gonna ruin my day Okay, I, I can't even get these guys. Like they're kind of like congregating over here. Ah, oh, if only I had an explodey one. That'd, that'd deal with them real quick. Right. Right. Hang on. I got an idea. I got an idea that can really quickly finish these guys. Let's just grab an exploding bolt and just like smack them with that. That'll do. Right. Exploding bolt. You're in here somewhere, I think. Uh, I think. Or are you downstairs? Oh, you're probably you're probably downstairs, aren't you? Now they're gonna start being on my building, which I don't want. Okay. Fine, let's go and deal with them manually. Right, come on then, guys. Right, missed him. Right, come on then. Duck! Just can't catch a break at the moment. We got the screamers. And we're getting these guys. Yeah, an, expl an exploding bolt would do very, very well right now. Just to take them all out. That's oh, alright. Just deal with these guys. It won't take me too long. There you go. There you go, Egg is down. Big lady's down. This guy's trying to flank me from the left. Down he goes, this guy. Uh, okay, got a couple of Eggers here. Right. Business dude. Is that it? That one. And that one. Alright. He has been dealt with. Right, okay, so these business guys have been dealt with now. Right, uh, all these, uh, these all kinds of different zombie types have been dealt with. Okay, right, now hopefully we can go ahead and get on with what we wanted to do. We'll just go and paint this wall. Hopefully, we'll see. If we'll, so we'll see if the zombies comply, shall we? Um, so yeah, we wanted to go back to the roller option, and then we can go and paint the bottom. Yeah, so I think as long as we look kind of very close to the bottom, we should be able to get these without any problems, and then it shouldn't paint up the top. There we go, so we should go ahead and just do this as we go. Probably eating through a lot of my paint, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. As long as we're getting what we need to get, then that is fine. Now, I'm not going to do those ones because a pole, a pole is eventually going to go there anyway. So, you know, that doesn't, that really doesn't matter. As long as we're not getting any of these, uh, as long as we're not getting any of these bits up here, that is fine. Because um, that bit will be dealt with uh, later differently. So, there we go. So, we can paint all around there. Um, so, we'll do that. Okay, cool. Right, we're doing, we're doing good. Right, so, we'll come and do these guys. Come on. There you go. So slowly but surely we'll get we're running low on paint, lower and lower. So yeah, it's it's using it up quite quickly actually. We've got 984 A7 Wow. Wait a minute. Oh no no, it's, it's not using it that fast. But yeah, brick brick and stone take more paint than uh, than other things, unfortunately. I don't I don't I don't understand why they do, because they're not exactly a better texture. I don't I don't understand how they run up the cost on those. It's a little bit odd. There you go. So now that's bit that bit there is done, so we can go ahead and do these uh, these side bits here. Um so we can go do that. And, oh, I didn't really want to paint out there, but that's okay. That's not really going to matter at the end of the day. Um, and then I will have to see how this looks from the outside. I think it's going to look okay. Uh, oh, and I didn't want to do that one, though. Got to look very closely at these, because otherwise we're going to waste... Uh, if we don't look close at these, we're going to look, we're going to waste a ton of paint, which I don't want to do. So let's go ahead and do those, and then we can start building the wall there. There we go. Um, right, so that's looking good. So we can do this side. Unfortunately, outside of creative, you don't have access to paint all faces of the block, which does kind of suck. But there you go. We don't have access to it. Um, only in creative mode you have that. Because I know you guys would probably say, oh, you, you, know, you can paint all the faces. You can, only in creative, though, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, so when you're not in creative, you only have four options out of the eight that you usually get in creative. So unfortunately, we have to do it a little bit slower on some of these bits. That's cool. So yeah, these bits here, I'm not going to worry about painting over because that can just look like uh, a brick skirting or something. Uh, and then up this side, we can do the same here. So we'll go ahead and paint all that. 
I said was a um one thing that'd be really good if there was a find and replace type of uh, paint. I don't know if that already exists, but like it will say you'll say oh all these all this all this I want painted as uh, the other one, and then any adjacent textures will get uh, all done. That'd be really good. They 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 probably do have that as like prefab editing tools or something, but I mean just for us general builders, it'd be really cool if they had that. That'd be cool. Uh, right, let's go ahead and check on how that's looking. Let's have a look. Um, yeah. Not like, not like the greatest thing to like compare to because it's right at the beginning, but yeah, it's not bad. There you go. See, we got like the big bricks there. Then we got the small bricks there where the windows are going to be. We can always like section it off further with, uh, with brick plates if we want to. That might be an idea actually if we, if we, if we further section it with, uh, with brick plates and things. That could be, that could be pretty cool. Uh, for now though. What we're gonna do? Yeah, actually, that's that's probably an idea. Why don't we why don't we do that now? Considering I've got the scaffold in already, and I got the brick plates already, we may as well uh, see if we can uh, section itself. Now I, I don't have to put brick plates here, but it will look nicer if we do. So simple fact of the matter, it looks nicer. So that means we're gonna do it. Okay. So now on these, I actually have three sides to paint, which is fine. So we can do these guys. But yeah, I think that would look that would look nicer for sure. Oh yeah, for sure that's gonna look nicer, much nicer. It's easier all sectioned out like that. So it's kind of uh, yeah. Then you got that, and then we're gonna do like a, a windowsill kind of section as well, which is gonna be again another little another cool little addition we can try, um, which we should be able to build from the window directly. But this bit here we have to do from the outside because otherwise it's just not it's just not gonna work otherwise. So uh, let's go and see if we've got these. There we go. So these guys. Okay, I think I hear another screamer coming. I think. Wouldn't surprise me if another one does decide to run in any moment now. It would uh, not surprise me. Right, let's go and have a look at that. See how it looks. Oh yeah, that's looking that's looking loads better. That's looking a lot better. Hmm. Yeah, I'm liking that better. That look, that looks better. That's that's nicer. Nicer looking. So yeah, I think I think we'll keep it at that. So let's go ahead then and do so. That means we should do the rest around this side as well. So yeah, doing kind of doing up these bits and getting the uh, getting the brick texture sorted is going to be what I want to do. So I may as well put them all in first and then paint them over. So this one we've got like five. So we've got five to do on on the main sides, and then or is it four? It might be four. Yeah, th this side's going to be a bit different because obviously there is a. A stairwell here. I did want to see if I can make a window work at some point, um, so don't worry. I will be I will be experimenting, see what I can do there. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. So now I put those in. I'll go ahead and paint this side. There we go. So we can now paint up here. Unfortunately, there's no no quick way to do this bit. You just have to just have to do it slowly. There we go. We'll paint up that side, and then we'll do the same up that side. There we go. And then again, we'll do. Don't want to do that one. Wasting paint. Don't want to do that. I mean, we we can get plenty from the traders now, so it's not really an issue. But you know, the less paste, the, the less paint we have to waste. I was gonna say the less paste we have to waint. I was like, what what is that? <laughs> it's like, dude, what is that? Okay, there we go. So then we can go and do these. So yeah, painting is not too. It doesn't take too long. It's kind of just a little bit slower than placing blocks. So. But yeah, I'd uh, I definitely appreciate if paint all sides of a block was available outside of creative. I don't. I don't get why that one's. I, I guess. I guess from what I'd understand of it is. Oh well, in creative mode you can kind of go through blocks. So any paint you would apply can logically go through blocks. I, I don't know. So, something, something like that is probably probably why. But I'm not sure. I hope. I just hope at one point. At some point we can go ahead and say yeah, you can. Uh, you can now paint the way you like, which would be really cool if we can. All relies on Alpha 17. So we'll see. We'll see what we get here. But yeah, I think this is going to look a lot nicer if we do this. Um, so yeah, we'll try this and see what happens. We shall see. All down to uh, all down to experimenting and just uh, trying these things out. If it works, it works. Okay, so let's come down here. Let's have a look from here. Yeah, that's definitely looking. Uh, I, I'm liking that. That's, de that's definitely looking good. Definitely, 
definitely looking good, yeah. So that's uh, that kind of keeps it separate between there. So yeah, looks a bit square, but that's that's kind of this. The, the the whole thing behind this, I'm kind of thinking this big building here is going to be some kind of like office block, with each floor being either after a subscriber or after a patron or something like that, um, or like part of a floor, you know, just 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 to see what kind of things are on. So this could be like a multi a multi-purpose thing. So one floor could be like a construction supplies one, another floor could be like a game shop. I don't know, just just, just stuff we can we can kind of think of pretty cool um actually i think we can sort of walk on that bit as well okay so let's go do this side so the longest sides take quite a bit uh quite a bit more uh, effort to paint over compared to these sides because i think on these sides we literally just have to do the two whereas the longer sides there's uh there's five of them to do so yeah these sides are a lot quicker but once we move up to the next floor on the building, these uh, these sides won't be so uh, the other sides won't be so long, and it'll be a little bit quicker. So the bottom floor is always going to be the longest, purely because of how the uh, how the thing is designed. So we'll see here. Let's go and do that, and then we're going to come around this way. So slowly but surely, come together. But yeah, I think this kind of uh, design for our town would be quite nice. So we have like a uh, light kind of brick as scaffold, and then a darker brick as the as the main type of brick, which I think I think that would work really nicely, actually. Uh, ooh, I don't want to do you. I, I don't think you get paint back either if you rub it off, which is kind of a shame. I wish you did. Um, it it's there, there must be a way to say, oh, is the block player painted? Yes. Oh, do they rub it out? Do they make a mistake? Yes. Okay, get the paint back. <laughs> I I, mean, I know it makes no sense, but from like a for a gaming point, it would be quite nice. Okay. Ah, oh, did I miss that one? Uh, can I? Oh, can I even get that one now? Oh, come on, come on. There you go, right, I got it. Okay, that was, uh, that was a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare and a half there. Actually, now what I can do is just go ahead and do that, and then I won't um, don't have to worry about the textures there. There we go. So... That way, and then we can come this way. And we have one more. Okay, this last one. There we go. So we can go and do that, and then we can start painting over this as well. There you go. So this side will be uh, this side will be done. It's looking good. Okay, let's paint over it. Let's see what we get here. And then once that's all done, we should be pretty good to add some little bits of decoration here and there. You'll see what I'm uh, you see what I'm getting at uh, in a little bit. But let's go ahead and just finish this bit off. And then these guys, come on. Uh, can I not reach that top one? Yeah, I can. Come on, I can do it. There you go. Yeah, crosshair is very, very precise as you as you paint. There you go. You can, you can just see the the precision you have to line up just to just to get this little bit done. There we go. And that one, and that one. There you go. And then we can come this way. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely glad though that paint has a long range. It's uh it's very very helpful that it does. Okay, turn light off, I hear a screamer coming. Okay, she's running underneath. Let's go and see if we can find her, right? I know it's dark, but let's see if we can take her out before she calls anything. Don't know if she saw me. There she is. Oh, I missed her. I see her, I see her. See that shadow? That's her there. Oh, come on, that was right on her. Right. Got her. Down you go. Right. Yeah, you sure you can shut up, Screamer. Don't you start. It's the middle of the night. People are trying to sleep. <laughs> right. Um, I think we just have this. Uh, these two to do. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so we just have these couple to do, and then we are good. And then come around this side. There we go. So we can do all those. Okay. And then that last one should be all good, and then that'll be done. And that side we did do, and then we just got this last side to do. Cool. Okay, that's that's everything done on that side. There we go. Right. So that bit's done. Let's go. Uh, let's actually just drive on here. Have a look at our handiwork, shall we? Yeah, not looking so bad pretty cool i mean if it was like attached to the ground it'd look a little bit better but you know we kind of had to just do as we do yeah it's not looking so bad so i'm perfectly capable of uh, being happy with that that is pretty cool yeah i think i think that works happy with that 
Right, okay, so that's that bit done. And I think then the next thing I want to do is go ahead and do some of the the pole work as well. So let's go ahead and grab the brick poles. I think we had some of them. Here we go. 500 brick poles. Hopefully not centred. Oh, they're centred ones. Oh, why did I buy centred ones? Because I kind of wanted to uh, window sill. Okay, I'll tell you what then. We don't need we don't need brick ones. I'll tell you what we can do. If we don't have the if we don't have the regular poles, I don't think we do. I think we only have centred. Um, okay, I'll tell you what we can do. Let's put those away a sec. What we can do instead is make them out of uh, make them out of wood. That'd be easier. Um, so wood poles. Let's go and grab those, and then we can go do poles. <laughs> wood pole. And let's get uh, let's get 120 of them. That should do. And they make nice and quick. That's the other thing as well. The wood poles make nice and quick, and they're only used for decoration purposes as well, which is kind of a good thing. So let's go ahead and do. So the what we're going to do here is go and put the wood poles down here. We'll paint over them to kind of look nice in a minute, but let's go ahead and do those. There we go. So we're going to put the wood poles there. Okay, true. Try not to fall off the edge. That would be... Uh, try not to fall off the edge. That would be nice. Right, there we go. Let's come this way. And then we're going to turn it... Uh, I can't really see which way it's going. This way. Here we go. So these guys can go in there. Um, and then we're going to put some on the window bits as well to look like window sills, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to like, uh, we're going to it's going to be a little bit difficult to do the rest of the scaffolding work um, as we go up because obviously the plates actually take a full block space, so it'll be hard to actually place the rest of the scaffolding down. But we'll see. So for now, we'll go and do that. And then we'll go ahead and do this. And then we'll back out that way. Is that all of them? I think that might be all of them. I think. Well, let me see. Did we do this? We did. So then the next thing to do is go ahead and do like some window sills or something on the top of this. So see if I can get a rotation that I like. There we go. And then these guys can be like sealed along here. So you won't really see it until it's all done, but still, we can go ahead and just do this. So we don't need one there, because that's not actually a window spot. There we go. And then we can turn this way. And then I will go and see about getting them that way. There we go. And we can start putting these in. There we go. And that should look pretty nice, I think. I'd see how some of the other skyscrapers in game do it as well, because some of, some of their, how they've done it looks really good. Had to get some ideas. I'll probably have to look at some other skyscrapers for other things and get some ideas how how city builds look but we'll see as you as you know i built a castle already so i guess we have to go a bit more uh, a bit more modern and get the city build bit done as well so that'll be uh, that'll be a thing let's go do that and then we're gonna have around this side so yeah, we've we got one bit that isn't quite done yet but that's uh, that'll have to kind of be filled in last there we go so these bits can be done now and then this one, we're going to have to just do like half <laughs> half of it and then another half there. There we go. Then we'll, we'll sort that out later. So in terms of painting it, now that's in, it's, it's time to actually paint the thing. Uh, how much paint do I have? 390. So hopefully this will be enough. Let's see what I want to use for that. So I don't want to use cabinet old or anything like that. We could use maybe some concrete orange might be quite nice or some concrete grey. Do I like the regular, the sidewall cracked? I don't want that. Sidewalk, sorry, cracked, not sidewall. <laughs> sidewall? What is a sidewall? Uh, okay, where's the adobe textures, actually? That might be that might be better. So, adobe white. I think adobe, not drywall town. I think adobe town might look quite nice here. Because that's regular concrete. But there should be an adobe tan here. Adobe peach. Actually, adobe peach usually looks... I don't know if peach or tan look better here. We'll have to, we'll have to check. So, adobe peach is that color and adobe tan is let's see what looks better actually i'm thinking adobe tan might look better yeah that definitely sits better definitely sits better for the corners there yeah i'm definitely liking that better i mean i like the brightness of peach but i think the tan hmm i have to i have to kind of have a look at this just to kind of be sure i mean that bit we're gonna have in adobe white i think but i think adobe tan on those is going to be where it's at. Yeah, I think Adobe, Adobe Tan for the corners, definitely. So we'll do that in Adobe Tan. 
And the good thing is, once I've once I've done this once, I should be able to copy the uh, copy the paint texture as I need it. So yeah, we'll do a Adobe turn there. Because that kind of is a little bit of a different colour, but not too different, so it stands out. I don't I don't really want it to stand out. I kind of just want it to seem like a natural part of the construction. So well, that'll be good if we can kind of achieve that as well. So these guys can be done in tan. There we go. I think we're doing pretty well here. There we go. And then these guys can be done in tan as well. There we go. Right, now the windowsill parts is going to be where it gets a bit different. Let's see. So I could use... Um, I kind of want a nice looking texture, not a, not a horrid looking one. Um, I could do concrete grey. There's also drop ceilings, which won't look very good. Uh, so there's concrete brown. I don't know if that's going to look any any decent. Let's have a look. Oh god, no, no, that's that's not that 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 is literally like a, a turd brown. I don't want that. Concrete grey. How's that going to look? Let's have a look. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. No, it looks too different from the brick. Okay, I think we're going to need something a little bit lighter. So maybe concrete. Um, maybe just concrete. That could work. Just concrete. How's that look? In comparison, a bit too bright still. I want it a little bit darker. Um, so maybe. Oh, how about concrete trim? What would that be like? Well, oh god, no, 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 that goes the wrong way. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing that one does too. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No, no, I like that. There we go. We can do something like that. It kind of looks like a kind of looks like a, a brick kind of texture kind of thing on there. That doesn't look too bad. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad, but. At the same time, I think it could be better. That looks more like a tile, like a bathroom tile kind of uh, texture. So yeah, yeah, we'll change that. Um, we got brick pavers. What is that like? Uh, no, 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 we're not having that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I think we just need a flat color then. Uh, so concrete white, no. We have got drywall tan. There should be some other other colors here as well. I think. So these are like metal ones. So maybe um maybe Adobe white on this one would be pretty good. So we could try Adobe White there instead, see, see if that looks any decent. So yeah, all, all, all this for a for a concrete wall. But then again, that is really bright, isn't it? Like, turn turn it off, it's not too bad, but yeah, it kind of gets you on the uh gets you on the brightness a little bit. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go a little bit darker. I, I just can't decide what I want. <laughs> I'm so I'm so indecisive, I'm sorry. Okay, so fine, we I think Adobe White is kind of okay, but mm, I think I think we're gonna have to stick with Adobe Tan for these. I, I kind of wanted to go a bit different, but I think Adobe Tan... I don't know, I just think the tan looks really kind of meh. Okay. All right, fine, concrete. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, concrete. There we go. We'll do concrete. We'll stick with concrete, and that's going to be... Because concrete looks good with bricks anyway, so that would work. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to do that one. So, yeah, we will uh, We'll do concrete for these uh, for these sills. There we go. Okay, so we've, we've made a decision. It took me, like, ten minutes to do it, but we made a decision. We're going to do concrete. There we go. So I can go ahead and do that. Uh, so these guys, and then come around here. And then we can come over this way, around the edge. There you go, so... Let's go ahead and do all these, and then we should be pretty good to say that most of this part is done, at least. There you go. But yeah, the, stair the stairwell, I, I definitely want to see if I can do something with as well, because, I mean, it's, it just seems odd not having a window there. It's fine, but it just seems a little bit, little bit odd. So it would be nice if we could sort that. There we go, and then we can go ahead and do these sides. See, I know these technically. Are, I would have say paint if I just made them out of concrete, right? But still, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I did. I did like the other side of the trim, but I don't know. It just, it just didn't seem quite right. It, it was close, but not quite. Okay. There we go. And then once we've done that, we can go down and have a look and see what it's like. So yeah, that, that bit there is obviously the exception to the rule because we can't actually do anything there. That's fine. And we can go and do that. Uh, definitely got it. No, yep. Uh, where, did I, where the hell did I just paint then? I don't know. <laughs> I got something. Hopefully I've got enough paint to go around. How much have I got? 192 left. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so the, the concrete only uses two. Okay, that's good. So we don't have to worry about that. Well, how much red? I, I bet redwood uses three. I, it wouldn't surprise me because I wanted, I want like a, a nice redwood interior or something. I, I do like redwood. I some people really hate it, but I really like it. Definitely looks nice. Um, okay, that one. 
And then around here. Okay, I think we're nearly done here, and then we can go and have a look and see. Oh, not that one. There we go. So yeah, we'll definitely have enough concrete to get around all this, and then we can go and have a look and see what that's like once we are done. Uh, nope, you. There we go. And look, there's a blue. There's a blue moon. That happens once in a blue moon. Tee right. So what have we got here? Well, it's up with when someone says, "Yeah, that'll happen once in a blue moon." Well, now, now, now you know. After 50 days in the zombie apocalypse, you will get a blue moon. I think I think the moon is blue after the after the horde night one though. I I I, I think it is anyway. Right, let's drop down here, have a little look. How's that looking? Yeah, that's looking pretty nice actually. I like it. I like it a lot. There we go. So that is the that is at least the first part of the wall uh, on the outside all done anyway. So that's and that's for the that's for the first floor. We're gonna have to obviously go higher with this and obviously like make an actual entrance way in. But I think that's a pretty good looking first wall. Um, so I'm happy with that. So let me see if I've got some uh, some concrete blocks. We're going to go ahead and do the next floor as well. And then I think after that point we'll be... I don't want to actually put the windows in yet. I will save I'll save the windows till the end um, because I think we're nearly at a point we can end off the episode. But the windows are probably going to be the last thing I put in after I decide how I want this uh, all to look and uh, function and behave, etc. But yeah, I think we are getting close to having something uh, having something good. Oh yeah, we need to do another stairwell here, don't we? Um, so I did not do those stairs yet. So, actually, that would be something we do, just uh, do another stairwell. And we, actually, while we've got the paintbrush here, let's actually fix this up a little bit as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy um, and we're going to move, uh, we're going to move this texture up. Essentially, we're going to move everything up one. Um, so you'll see what I mean. So we're going to, instead of going here and here, we're going to come around to this side and then we're going to copy this guy just quickly and move them up to there because that's where the next level of skirting is going to be. So we're going to move the skirting up one like this. And yeah, we can actually do it. We can actually do some painting here as well while we do while we are uh, while we're here. We may as well just finish this off, and then I can probably do the floor. Actually, I'll tell you what. I'll do the floor off camera. We'll just go ahead and paint this for the last part of the episode. That will that'll work a bit better, I think. So let's go ahead and grab that, and then we can uh, move these over. So yeah, I'll do uh, I'll do like the samey stuff off camera, I think, and then we can go ahead and do that. So yeah, hopefully. In the next episode, you'll see another floor has been completed. There we go. Um, now, I do need to go ahead and replace some of those things there because, um, as you can see, that part is where the iron comes from. But yes, now, essentially now what we can do is we can grab this guy and he will now sit in this position here. So this guy now has, I think this actually comes out one extra, doesn't it? Yeah, on the bottom floor, it comes out one more. Let me go and put another layer of brick in then. Um, so let's go and grab. Do I have brick blocks? I don't. Okay, let me go and grab them. So yeah, the uh, I forgot it comes out one extra layer here. So let's go and grab those. Can we get cement out of here now as well to start getting concrete mix? There you go. We can get 3k out of there. Another 3k out of there. And another 3k out of there. And that's literally just doing iron. Okay, cool. Actually, that's not doing anything now, is it? Is that not doing anything? No, he's done. Okay, we can turn him off. Attract, uh, attracting less screamers is going to be good. Because, you know, less, less screamers, then uh, the less we have to deal with in terms of the Zeds, which means the more building we can do. I mean, I know I need to obviously keep going with some stuff, but now, having less screamers is always handy. All right, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do uh, we'll go ahead and do this bit. So yeah, this bit here, then, um, we need to go and put the bricks along this little bit here. So the bricks are going to go here. See, so yeah, I haven't done, like, the archway yet or anything. I'm just kind of doing it roughly. But yeah, then on this floor, we'll have, again, the... Uh, the tanned wall. I'll go from there. Hang on a sec. Let me go and grab the paintbrush. And then I should. Where is it? Number two. There we go. Paintbrush. There we go. Got it. And then we should be able to kind of do this. Because then my, my, my thought is here, right? So this bit, uh, we can go and grab this. My thought is on this part of the, uh, on this part where the skirting is, it's not going to look very good because if we had like a bit of flags and then the other skirting, it wouldn't look so great. But this kind of gives it its extra texture. That hopefully will look decent around that point. So then you can see kind of like a skirting. It doesn't look great, but it looks okay. I'm sure I'm sure there's I'm sure there's a better option we can use. But I kinda like that part of the skirting, which looks like it looks good then, and then you kinda come here and it's like meh. Uh but <laughs> so, what 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 the hell was that noise just moving? Uh but yeah, it's it's kind of okay. It'll it'll be okay. And then the bit above that is then gonna be flexing again. So we can kind of do this. Yeah, so it's a little bit odd because it's not quite even with how it should be, but there you go. 
do those, then we come around here, and then we have that. Because that looks that looks good there when you come in here. I think I think that look okay. Maybe we just don't have a uh, maybe we just don't have a trim there. That might actually work better. Let's let's try without a trim. What's it like without a trim? Actually, yeah, that looks better without a trim. That looks that looks much better without a trim. Yeah, that's fine. Because that, otherwise we have it. You're having two trims. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that instead then. So this is how we're gonna do the stairs on this side. So I did like the trim, but I think that last trim, this trim, could actually be at the very top instead. I think that will work better. But yeah, that's uh, that looks better because then that way, it's all consistent like that. Yeah, definitely. That definitely looks better. In my in my opinion, that definitely, definitely, definitely looks nicer. And then we can go ahead and do that. Yeah, I think I think without the other trim looks better. Because that way you've only got one layer of trim. Um, I mean, on this side it might not look so bad. But yeah, I, th I think uh, I think without is going to be the way to go. Because the skirting can then come around that way. And then be hidden there. See, so yeah, I think that's, uh, that looks better. Yeah, cause it kind of then helps section off the floors a little bit. And yeah, I quite like that. Because then you've got a bit of a gap and then a bit of a gap. And from here... So maybe what this means then is that we need the ceiling one lower. Because the ceiling's one lower, then that would mean that this uh that means that then this is at ceiling level here. See that that could mean we need the ceiling one lower at this point. Um although I kinda kinda don't know. I kinda like having a bit of wiggle room here. The, the ability to kinda jump down there. It's gonna It's gonna be interesting actually. Yeah, I think I I think we'll keep it as it is for now. Yeah, decisions, decisions. It's always a, uh, always lots of decisions on these things because it's like, I'm not the best at designing like art artistically. I'm really not. So like, I know I, I want to, I just want to make this the best I can. I'm sure you guys are just like, oh my god, this looks horrible, or this looks really good. But I can never be sure. Like, I'm, uh, I'm not the guy. If if you want to know what looks good, I'm not the guy you ask. Because <laughs> you know, being being a half a blind bugger is uh, is uh, also a little bit of a factor in that. But you guys know what I mean, like. It's something. I'll see. I'll see what a lower ceiling is like. Though. Let's actually try a lower one. I mean, for this bit, it's going to have to be anyway. So we we could try it um, and just see how the ramps work. It is morning though, so I think we're going to have to end off the episode. I think we've actually overrun quite a bit in this one, which is fine. Um, but yeah, this bit here then goes here. I mean, no, we still got enough room. We still have enough room to like walk up and down here. Doesn't does it feel too low or not really? No, it doesn't feel that bad. It doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, I think actually then what we'll do is we'll have a uh, we'll have another layer here. So I will take out those other bricks because that way then. And uh, why did I just put one there? I don't know. Stupid. Come in. So what we'll do then is we'll end up moving. This lot, one down. And then I probably have to repeat the pattern over here. Okay, I've not done that bit yet. So now, now I know what I'm doing and kind of getting this all sorted out. Yeah, this this looks better then because that's at ceiling level and that's going to look a lot nicer. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm definitely thinking that's going to be better. There we go. And then we're going to put the layer of bricks in there. And we've got another screamer coming. And of course, it's morning now so she would see me if I go down there. So we're just gonna have to leave her for a sec. All right, let me turn this light off. Um, let's see if we can maybe take her out quietly. There she is. Ah, oh, she saw me. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Oi. Okay, fine. We gotta go go deal with her again. Okay. Right, where'd you go? There you go. Right. Right. Don't scream again. There you go. She has been silenced. Right. Oh, we got a biker coming. Okay, got a couple of bikers. Right. Good morning. Good night. Right. Where's this other one at? Right. Okay, we got a uh, got a fell here. Okay, come here, come here, come here. Right. Ow. Right. Come on then. Oh. Right. He's out. Right. Then we've got. Oh. Okay. This guy. Get down, and then we got one spider to deal with wherever he's at. And where's the spider? He sounds like he's up here. You in here? There he is. Oh, it's a rat. Okay, rat spider. Oi! Right, let's get this guy down. Got him. 
And he had nothing on him. That was uh, very nice of you, Mr. Spider. But yeah, this is what it looks like uh, come morning. Actually, that's not looking too bad, actually. I'm quite liking that. So yeah, um, I think then... Um, we are at a pretty good point to go ahead and end off the episode, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, so let me uh, let, let me go ahead and uh, before I before I do end it off, though, let's just finish that bit off with uh, some dry some drywall ceiling, just to see what the final look is, and then hopefully uh, that will look all good. But yeah, we've done a nice load of work on the uh, on the painting side of things, which is really really good. So I'm definitely happy with that. So let's go and grab the let's go and grab these guys here, and then we'll probably paint it uh, probably paint it in that in the Adobe tan. On the ceiling there. And we can kind of do that. Don't know. Do I want that kind of colour for this part of the ceiling? I think it makes a decent colour ceiling. Like not... Yeah, so actually when, when the light's not on it, it's not so bad. Because it, it just looks bright because of the mining light. But there we go. But yeah, that's what I think we're going to go for there. And then from that point then, once we've done that... Yeah, I think I think finalising that. And once we have that, guys, uh, we can go ahead and do... Hang on, let me copy that. Once we've done that, then we have this, and then everything falls together very nicely. There we go, there we go, and then we can uh, finish that off. And yeah, I think that definitely works. That definitely works a lot better now because uh, now the skirting is in line with the actual ceiling section, and that I think is pretty much a wrap. So I'm gonna go end off the end, uh, blah, end off the episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then. Bye!